We do transmissions all the time. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't want to do this. This is going to be... Oh, gosh dang it. All right, we interrupt the program really fast to let you guys know some exciting news happening. How exciting? It's pretty exciting. So if you guys are in the southern Utah area this Saturday, May 20th, come on over to Sand Hollow. It's the Dixie Four Wheel Drive Off-Road Car Show and it's the very first one they've ever done. It's a swap meet also, so there'll be people yeah. there selling random stuff that you could take home and put on your rigs. Yeah. So we're going to be doing stage pictures with the tow truck. Yep, so you can come, hook your rig onto it, get a picture like you're getting towed out, and help save some trails. Yeah, all the money proceeds will go to Upla. It's really not, it doesn't cost to do it, it's a donation rather. Right. So if you guys want to secure your spot to get a sweet pick the tow truck with the Rat Rod Wrecker, go to offroadcarshow.com. We hope to see you guys there. All right, tow truck. We'll pull it in, fix the transmission problem. We'll even pull it apart and show you what I broke in it just so we can know what happened. So we'll get in here and get Transy out. Transy? Tranny. Can you say tranny anymore? I'm gonna say transmission. That never gets old. It's fun to drive. First things first, we'll tear the drive lines out of it, and then we'll pull the belly pan off of it, and then we should be able to pull transfer transfer or transfer cases out, and then the tranny out. Couple of hours, we'll have it sitting on ground. Did I not leave it in neutral? What a rookie mistake. So we're thinking that it broke. A retaining ring inside the transmission is the problem. We were thinking torque converter, but it's not. It's it's a uh, we had some catastrophic failure inside the case, I believe. We'll get it out of here. We'll pull it apart and show you exactly what went down. The fluid still looks really good, like it's not burned up. Still moves. It's just doesn't move good. So I think it's all all coming apart in there. We're gonna need neutral. New what? Yeah, I'm getting. I'm going for neutralis right now. We got one. Catch. Good catch. <laughs> Let's see, we gotta undo shifters. We're gonna fix that. It needed to come out anyway, I just didn't want to pull it out. This gave me a valid reason to pull it out. When we get out, we'll trim all of this off. I may redo my, my mount so I can put that deep pan on it. That's probably what's gonna happen. There you go. There we go. Shifters. Just unbolt them and let them hang? Or? Should be able to just unbolt the these ones and then we can pull this pin, pull the main shaft and leave them up in there. It's a little tight. It's a little tight. Ben knows all about it. He put those in. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> the stance though. It's not it high enough. <laughs> Come on. Scratch <laughs> that. That's in the way. I always wondered what it looked like from this side of the it's camera. It's pretty good. It is pretty it's good. Pretty, yeah. That weld job on that one was pretty dang good. Whoever did that. <laughs> <laughs> they're not crushed either, no, like they're not. thought they were going to no. be. For the lights? Yeah. yeah. Hunter bet against me. He said they're going to get ruined. Oh, yeah. I welded it pretty good, so it wouldn't, you know. You want to see how a boss? Let's see it. See how a boss does it. <sighs> boss this up. We're switching roles here. Hunter's becoming the welder, so he's going for it right Showing here. How he's doing it? How to do it? Kind of nervous. What are we thinking? Yeah, I think something in that angle yeah. right there. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's a good flip. That was a nice. Hey, hey, you could do a pull up off that then. Yeah, I, I, ain't, I, going I ain't going nowhere. 
Ben's wearing off on me. I know, I saw. Starting to set tools and stuff up there. <laughs> what we can do here, we put the tranny jack under this, and then we can take the cradle off of it, and then we can pull the transfer cases off. So, because this whole thing in one whack is a heavy beast. Right. Of a beastly. We should be able to put this under the transmission. Good luck. Say, how do you hold a nut on that thing? It was probably pretty easy before someone built all that stuff around it. Oh, I can see it from here. <laughs> Let so me see that it. Oh, yeah, it's possible. Okay. Yep. Same with the front. I think so. It's up. Yeah, we weren't supposed to pull this tranny out for a while. How many miles does the tranny have on it? When we re when we put the speedometer in it, it was at zero. So it was working fine right up until we broke the case. <laughs> when the derby car maybe had a mile on it. Two Not miles. even a mile on it. it. It didn't work in the shop. Yeah. We need to have like a seance or something and do ask forgiveness from the tranny gods to see if they'll <laughs> forgive us and we can just smooth things over and they'll let a, an automatic transmission work for me because it's getting a little ridiculous. You may want to leave the bottom one in just a little bit. Catch safety. Yeah. Somebody mangled these threads. They're probably going to come out really hard. I'm just saying there may be some Residual, oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're gonna be fine. You hit them with the old gun. It's gonna work just okay. We cut it. Hey, we may have fire plasma cut her up and cut it. It just needs a little notch around it right here so we can put a socket on it and then it'll go out. Whoever built this. All right, let's take these other ones that we know we can get. <laughs> that one looked bad. I don't remember going in that bad. They didn't. I plasma cut them afterwards. We just need to cut this. You just grab the plasma cutter, see that? Oh yeah. Just knots around it, just barely right there. That'll be same with the other side. The other side, no, you're just gonna have to cut the bolt off. It's not hidden. No. Go. Fishing in the dark on that one. Okay, we gotta cut one more over here. It's hitting. I don't know if you can see that, but the engineer didn't count for that one. We'll have that on these, possibly. These kinds of jobs. All right. I don't know who designed that. It's a terrible <laughs> idea. Okay, so technically we should be able to pull those two bolts, and those, and it comes off, right? I think take it out and then hang on to it, and I think we can. We can get her dead. You ready? Yeah. Here, try, try prying your side. No, no way, huh? One more plasma torch away from coming out of there. One thing about it, we'll put it back in the right way. But that'll do it. What do you know, Mr. JD? You just barely put this together. Now you're cutting it apart. Somebody broke it. Hey, that's easier. That comes way, out way better when the bolts are out. Yep. Think you made that heavy enough? I, I think it's pretty good. I guess we pull those six bolts off. We can slide the transfer cases off. All right, let's do her. Pop her loose. Is it separating from the mount? Go up with it. <clears throat> nope. Nope, down. Down with it. I see a pry bar. Here's a yeah. steady. Okay. 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 The boards are hitting on the front. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I didn't think that one too. Hammer. Yeah, you got that? <laughs> I'll just hold this in any way. It looks like it still had some in there. Well, that's plus. All right, you ready? Take yeah. your hand and put it on this. 
pry it back a little bit. Go down, go down with the jack. Right there. There you go. Go down some more. We're out. I don't remember it being that heavy. You just let her drop. We've got fluid leaking fine. everywhere. Do we want to take it and just take it off? Yeah, we do, but we're gonna get out here where we can get the crane to it because you yeah. ain't picking that up. Uh, you, I wouldn't want to try it. Doesn't valuable like it. or value your children. I don't need any more. <laughs> I don't need you probably at all. Got it? Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. It's actually pretty clean, that clip is having to grow, huh? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Go ahead. I don't want to hype you up. That was the skills to pay the bills, Hunter. You need to make sure you're not Spider-Man. Now you should be able to sag it. Grab that bucket and set it right up under the back of that. Yeah, you can come backwards now. Okay, go up. Right there. Okay, pull some bell housings and drop it on the ground. User Auto error. speed. No, it was not user, user error. User error. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there all these training lines? Of <laughs> He's resorted to swearing. It's family friends, Ben. Oh, sorry. I got that from my mom. It's <laughs> a valid point. That's valid. You can't even argue that fact. I have to cut this O2 wire off the dipstick. All right. Last bolt. Got it. Just barely down. Backwards. Okay. Down. Okay. Dipstick clear. Nope. Oh, oh, go back up. We're making kind of a mess. A bona fide just stuff everywhere. Like it's our first day. We should be good at this. We do transmissions all the time. <laughs> Today with Paul at Fab Rats, I've got my wagon here, and we are going to be doing transmission, transfer case, and anything else we can fit into the next like 36 hours. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. We are currently pulling the tranny out of this old donor truck I bought. I know it works, and we're gonna go ahead and swap it out in that. How excited are you? Excited. Pretty excited. Yeah, so we put trans jack under it, brace okay. it up, strap it down. Let's do it. Trans is coming out. Pull the dipstick out and make a mess. It ain't gonna make any more of a mess. Back. Yep. Send her down. We're gonna decide what went south. Yes, we are. If the case isn't broke, we're gonna fix it. No reason not to. Grab yeah. some starting we'll fluid. Pull the converter yeah. out. That's what I wondered. Bring that converter over to set it on this table. Just set it right there. Set it right up. I just wanna see if metal comes out. Just tip it again. Should set it right there. Is it glittery? No. No, it's not. Like, not at all. Yeah, it doesn't appear to have any metal in it. Five bucks. Eight bucks. Oh, yeah. God. Start a YouTube channel just satisfying. <laughs> is that <laughs> satisfying? <laughs> squeegee and... It is. Just squeegee and met or trans yeah. fluid off. Maybe you should be a window cleaner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, how are we going to get this over there without leaking fluid everywhere? Watch your head go your way. Just tip this up on its side. Can I try it? Yes. Oh, you want a squeegee? Do it. Just don't go too fast because there's holes in that side. All right. Gotta figure out. That is so satisfying. 
You gotta go through all your Jeep stuff up there and see what you want, what you don't want. Yeah, I got, I got plenty of stuff. What'd you get us today? What you asked for? The audience doesn't know that. You, you gotta say. Money? Oh, I mean, See, that's I, where I got say it from. that on camera. See, that's where I got it from. <laughs> Crap. I, I brought you Archie's today. Oh, thank you. Yes. Sorry. I didn't know you had the camera on me. Don't turn the camera on without warning. Oh, there's some telltale problems. That's a snap ring, my friends. Exactly like we anticipated. That one's not broke like I thought. Where did that come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Ceiling ring? Pump. <laughs> right there. Yep, there it is. Broke ceiling ring. Smoke the pump. See that? Yeah, it did. This one's supposed to have another one just like it right there. Well, bam, junked it. So that, in theory, is all still bad to the bone. We could find out. Let me see if it's a screwdriver right here. Yeah, they're, they're good. I wonder what would cause that. But it smoked the pump, the back half junk. Interesting. Well, I'll put this back together and we'll have a spare. Yeah. I'll just put another pump on it. Brand new tailgate. Brand new. Brand new. Lightly used. Light. <laughs> Clean, one owner. Just admiring your new tailgate. Um, Looks good on the old This gets at least two miles more of the gallon now. <laughs> but still opens. There's the tow truck one right there. So we got 400 for the tow truck and then Two 4L60s for others. More parts. Alright, I'll stab a converter in it. Now I'll stab a converter and. Alright, converter's full of oil. We're gonna leak a little here because I filled her extra full. There it is. We're in. Oh, you're going out this other side now. Where? Out the. Oh, good. That's what it needed to do. That other one never did that. No, no, it never that other one never did one. that right there. Yeah. The Derby one? Yeah. yeah. Where's your caps? Okay. I did. I got sprayed. It happens. I know. Let's do this. Alright, you gotta go up somewhere. Are you waiting for me? Yeah, it's on your side. Oh, we've got down. plugs for those. At least you guys were concerned with the one. I was watching. I was, I was letting it drip right on that sawdust. You guys are doing a fantastic <laughs> job. Like, it looks pretty good from here. Just lower the leak. <laughs> You'll be all right. I was supervising the leak. <laughs> You're doing a fine job of it. All right, well, thank you. <laughs> Not my shop floor. <laughs> oh my gosh, he said it. Not my shop floor. <laughs> we just work here. Not for long. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> we're about to fix that problem. Same way it come out, twist it sideways. Close. Go up one more. Oh, that one's in. There that one's in. Here you go. I'll get it started for you over here. Oh, it came out. This side's in. Yeah, there that one's go. tight. And then that one should be able to go in now. That's tight. It's in, right? It's in. Yeah. It's in. It was just holding it up on the back. All right. We just gotta throw some bolts in it and All right. More bolts. wash those tranny lines out. We probably should have done that before we put a tranny in the way, but hey, we like doing things the hard way. I'll start dealing with some 90 weight leaks. Seems that we have a couple. 
hate 90 weight. What are you about to do? Wash the cooler out. Hopefully I don't make as much of a mess, but I will. I will I've got faith in you. You're going to make a mess. Oh, I know. How about a pan? Or a bucket? Yeah. You been getting any in the line? Not much. Not clear as it looks. <clears throat> It doesn't taste good. <laughs> so this door was leaking pretty bad right here. So we'll uh, clean that all up. We'll write stuff it back on and no more 90 weight leaking problems. Okay, I got all cleared out now. See, it's clear coming off my arm even. So now I'll put the rest of stuff in. Jeez, I didn't want to do this. This is going to be... Oh, gosh dang it. I think you covered it. Is it out? I think. No, no. it's not out. It's kind of so on fire, it looks like. Yep. There you go. We've had our fire for the day. Bad I did a weld on top of that. <laughs> I'll deal with this in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we just write stuff. Got everything clean and rewrite stuff it, so we're just stabbing it now. Good job. We better not leak this time. Another two inches. Oh, we're heading on the exhaust. So we're so turning the train, he's got to go down. Now you need to go that way. Back up. It's got to go up, just just barely pump. Too much. Twist her a little. Right there. She's in. I heard it go. Boulder. Right there. Those two at the bottom. that out of your way. We'll have to run through the shifter again. Yeah, we're going to sure have to readjust it. Yeah, we'll make sure it's in the right, the right, right position. Can you grab that side? Hey. Whoa! Evidently <laughs> that was down to there. Take her up, Larry. Tap it in. I got that. I got it. Get a bar. Probably put that bolt in first in the transmission. Uh, oh, look at that. There's all kinds of room on that pan. Is there? Oh, yeah. We can make them out. We can make something fit there. We'll stagger it to this side. Yeah, that's a lot better now. I like it a lot. That's going to work. It's oh, gonna go. work. I don't think Team I have a work. Okay, I think if we can start putting bolts in it. Got everything in. Put in the last couple of little bolts, and we're gonna put the drive line in, front links and drive line, and fill it up with fluid. All right, last one. Then we'll be done. We'll fill it up with fluid, and it's gonna work, right? Yep. Hopefully it will. All right, we'll see if we fixed all of our all right, now come 90 back weight issues. By the way, got enough now. Seven. That's no size. Correct. Yep. Good stuff. Probably why it doesn't At work. least we're not going to know if it leaked, right? If I spilt that everywhere. Oh. <laughs> well, that's one way to check it. We got her full of oil. We'll see if it leaks. It's going to drip a little because I overfilled it, but it shouldn't drip a lot. Oh, 
getting old and weak. Are you supposed to get uh, old and stronger? Sometimes. What? Uh, I'll work out. <laughs> oh, old man strength. I'll always be tougher than you. That's just good. <sighs> Hey, I almost beat you in an arm wrestle one day. <laughs> almost doesn't count in arm wrestling. How about pull-ups or sit-ups? I think I could probably beat him one time. <laughs> then I'd be sore for a couple of months. <laughs> but just because I have a will to not get beat, basically. Yeah. Huh. Is it a drip or a run? I'll probably run down the dipstick too. We went through a whole tree of sawdust <laughs> today. Right here. That one's a pan bolt. Who knows what this is. Guess get a, nine, or a half inch and a wobbly and see. Oh, right there. If you can tighten them. Oh, out of the cover on the back. Out of that cover. All right, let's let her back down. Okay, we got, we need to fire it up, check tranny fluid. Okay. Feels pretty good. It's got all the gears it's supposed to have, so maybe, fingers crossed, we go drive it and it's happy. I think we're gonna be good. Yeah. It felt pretty solid. Yeah, it goes into gear good. It feels yeah. feels pretty happy. So is everything? I like it. I think, I think everything's good, right? We'll we'll know when we go drive. I got to build that mount before we drive it. I don't want to break anything. Oh, I don't yeah. break a housing or anything crazy. So yeah, just more work. Yeah. And then we got to mount that fuel regulator. It's floating around. It looks like it fell off. Yeah, it, the <laughs> bolts came out. <laughs> Oh, so I gotta weld a piece of flat strap on it and bolt it in solid. Yeah, fireball's not sturdy enough to hold. Nope. I had a piece of flat strap right here, so. Look at that. We'll just, we'll just mark the holes, drill them and tap them for the regulator. Or probably just drill them, put nuts or bolts through them. Okay. And weld this to the firewall. But we have transmission again. We got tow truck again. That's We're doing sweet. tow truck stuff. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Three gallons. Three yeah. gallons in a little? Three. Oh, almost four. Almost, almost four, four gallons of tranny fluid. That's a lot That's a of lot tranny of fluid. fluid. So, yeah. It better stay cool. <laughs> All right. There's nothing left to do but take this old uh, tow truck for a rip. See if the tranny works. We're going to do it. We'll go see what this thing will do. Hopefully, good things. Solid. Feels good. Tow truck that doesn't have any holdback. No, that calls 
So I went up to the house. I got a little something to eat. I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go back down to the shop. I'm gonna fix this transmission. This tranny is fixed. I fixed the problem. This pump is all messed up. You can see this is what's left of the ring. Supposed to be like that ring right there. That's what it looked like. So it chewed it up, which yeah, it is what it is. So what I did is I put Teflon rings on this new pump that I put in here. Put a better pump in it, it's got more bolts in it. More hug, more better, good. Tranny should be ready to rock for Ben and Hunter and Sean in the morning. I gotta go to the dentist to get my tooth fixed that I went for last time. And then hopefully they'll be able to throw this tranny back in the tow truck, make it work because the no engine braking, that's no bueno. Can't happen, not gonna have it, so. We'll send that tranny back to the transmission shop that built it and they can fix it. But we'll get her fixed up. She should be good to go tomorrow. So, yeah. All right. Give me the camera. This is you. Who sent that to you, Hunter? Ray. Huh. Sent me some treats. Thank you. Hunter needs treats. He's always snacking. Yeah, they're trying to fatten me up. Yeah, you need it. Okay, I got one from James. Let's see what's in here. I got me a shirt. <laughs> so, yep. Thank you. Here we go, another day. Here, here it is at the shop, and yes, the tow truck's still here. So, we're not going to bore you with all pulling this apart because we just did it. We'll put Paul's back in, and it'll work fine. There's just Sean. Hunter boots and I, so we're we're preparing for battle once again. So maybe he'll bring us something back, like happiness, because we're doing a transmission again. So here we go. So I just got out of the dentist. Uh, they numbed me up. Whole side of my face is all numb. Let's see if they got some uh, tranny put in the tow truck. Hope it works this time. We'll see. Mom away. It's funny we just knew we had to twist that. It's been 24 hours. Deja vu, okay, one more out. And Switch we'll put the one pan. in. And we'll go back yeah, we in. just gotta put this pan back on it. All right, we got the transmission back in it and we're just gonna hook all the mm -hmm. lines and everything up, put the T-case on it, support in it, we'd be done. Okay, there we're, we go. We're tired of trannies and the fuel guy showed up bringing a fuel tank. So we're gladly going to help him. We're out of here. I think we're gonna use the Mini X, but we don't even know what we're doing yet. So whatever works best. Hunter can do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll drive the Mini X. I already hit the shop with oh, the tractor. Oh, that's a, that's a <laughs> my house, all right? What are you looking for now? I'm trying to lift this blade up. You gotta pull it farther. I was right. You got it. Probably good right there. It's got a hook on the bucket. You're gonna have to set it down probably. Let's see if we gotta turn it. You gotta spin it. Is it unhooked? You oh, you got it. it? Yeah. Look at that skill. It's good, man. Right there. We got it. <laughs> There's a fuel tank. Paul would have just made me climb up there and about <laughs> die. And... Uh, well, there we go. Fuel tank delivered. Just has one problem. Doesn't have free gas in it. I guess we have to go back and work on transmission. He's back. I'm back. My face is still numb. Now I gotta go to the high school though. I'm really not back. I'm just here and then gone. Hey. But I brought 
oil, and some bolts. So I'm sort of helpful. <laughs> Are we That's done? It, right? This Here is it, on. man. This is the last bolt. Thank goodness. And we'll put oil in it. Take the jack down and just drive it. Okay, good. Just put it to work. Because if it breaks, breaks again, free. we're going to have to put a standard in it or something. Okay, it's all That's, done. Put oil. Yeah, oil. We're out of here. All right, we got all the oil in it now. Drive lines are on it. I'm going to fill the transmission up and uh, we'll see if it moves. We're not pouring it right on the ground, are we? Just a little bit. Just uh, stuff coming off the. Well, that's a good thing. That's good. So now we're going to fire it up, make sure it works. <laughs> it's got all the gears, feels like. Now, as long as it does what it's supposed to. I like my camera holder. Hey, I love that. Yeah. He's got it in the vise. Pretty ingenious, huh? Hey. Outside the box. Outside the box. Outside the box. Okay, let's go for a ride and see how it does. And yes. Raiders and I just got back from a baseball game. I've been doing stuff all week or all day because uh, Shell's gone. So I've been mom and dad today. Graders had a baseball, Gracie had an appointment at the school, and then I had a dentist appointment. So I haven't been in the shop all day, but look at this, tow truck's gone. So they're driving it, which that's encouraging. I mean, hopefully she's good. Hopefully the tranny I put together is good to go and uh, life is good. We'll see, they'll be back. That's downshifting. I can hear it coming. They bark the tires up. Every year. Just how it's supposed to. We love it. We'll go double check all our stuff on it, make sure we got no leaks. And we got the tow truck back again. That's a beautiful sight right there. Driving under its own power again. It works, huh? But she works. Good deal. D cells. I heard you bark the tires up there yep. and you shifted down. Yesterday, nothing, just neutral. No, I just we'll go check all the fluids and uh, tow truck is like crazy. It is. I mean, that may not be good. Really? Yeah, like bad. Holy! <laughs> no, that ain't. Oh, we got a trans. We got a trans line. line. Yeah, we got trans. I'll bet it's a trans. Gosh. Line. Well, let's pull up and put it on the hoist. Yeah. <laughs> The trans gods hate us, Hunter. <laughs> oh, I'm well aware. <laughs> yep, dipstick tube is a problem. Well, I looped the piss out of it. Must have cut an no O-ring. Yep. Where's that 90 weight coming from? What? Sean's gonna be pissed. <laughs> well, we did tip this clear upside down, so maybe that's why. Yep. Maybe, but it looks like it's leaking right out the top. Which is a crazy spot for that to leak right there, out the top. All right, well. <laughs> At least the tranny seems to work good. Yeah, it does it neutral going down the hills. That's perfect, we'll take that all day. All day long. Yeah. All right, Yay. I think the tow truck is fixed. We got the trans leak that they had last night when they drove in. That was easy. It was just a full ring that was, was rolled on the dipstick tube. So it's fixed. It's full of fluid. It's not leaking. I think we're ready. One transmission later and then putting the factory one back in it. I think she's ready to go again. So, All right. So this was a two day thrash on this truck. We thought it was going to be easy transmission swap. Turned out to be a real pain, but she's done. She's back up and running. So thanks.
Thanks for watching. So before we let you guys go completely, we just wanted to let you know that we heard you. We ordered these shirts for everybody. So they are now officially on our website. They're there. Team Fab Rats, this is the Record Games uniforms. And I have a pretty good deal for everybody too. What kind of deal you got? Okay, so this shirt is the exact shirt that Paul wore to the record games. So the first annual record games. It even has his little, where he tried to burn himself. Shortly. And then you got a, a yeah. hole in your brand new shirt you've wore for one hour. I mean. Every order from here until the end of the month to be put in a drawing to win this shirt from off of the back of Paul. Order for these shirts? For anything, any okay. orders, you'll get two entries if you buy one of these signed from the signed. whole crew we'll sign all of us will sign it so from here to the end of the month if you guys want a chance to win this shirt go to thefabrats.com and that's where you can order our stuff and yep. get put in to win this here shirt Woohoo!